Disappointed. One word, disappointed. I ignored everything Tesla said four years ago. This is the stuff that you never get to see. Kimball Musk is right here. <laughs> I'm shocked that they're letting me film in here. Why don't they sell this? This is the wheel assembly. Check this out. They're putting the wheel directly onto the Cybertruck. This is a freaking downgrade from what we were promised four years ago. I know. Ago. But now you've seen the specs, you've made an opinion, but I want to show you what it felt like to be in the middle as it all unraveled at the Cybertruck delivery event. So the seats pop up, you can put a bag or something underneath them. But the Cybertruck still has me confused. Will it be mainstream? or niche. We are one of the lucky few to snag invites to the Cybertruck delivery event. Tesla has tried their best to keep everything under wraps. I'm going to give you guys all my thoughts. Let's do it. This is like the exoskeleton of the Cybertruck and these are our referral winner badges. The coolest badge by far I've ever had. Cool kids get that one. So this is my first time to the Gigafactory, first time here in Austin, Texas, and this thing is huge. I know everyone has always said it's huge, but it's insane. Like, look at this, I can't believe I'm here. Wow. Even the stairs of this building are like cyber. This is the casting of the Cybertruck right here. Kimball Musk is right here with his wife, Tashiana. I'm like, oh my god. Can I get yeah. a picture? Uh, quick one, yeah. <laughs> I'm Kim. Hi. Kimball. Kim. Nice to meet you, Kim. Thank you, Thank you so much for saving my day. <laughs> and while entering the event with the musks wasn't expected, neither was what we saw next. Don't ask, don't get. We are walking the factory line right now where they're building the cars, like right now. It hasn't even stopped. Have you noticed that? They're actually doing this. It's not like it's stopping for the event. Looking at the structural battery pack, this is where you have the 4680 cells. Look at this. This is the wheel assembly. Check this out. They're putting the wheel directly onto the Cybertruck, completely touchless. I'm shocked that they're letting me film in here. No one seems to care, so we're doing it. Wow, I just waved at Kimball again. Like, I am turning into like a weird soccer freak now. This is the light bar. What's underneath it? Can we get a shot of the underworking? Of course, the water bottle they gave us is stainless steel. Attention to detail, that's what it's about. Why don't they sell this golf cart Cybertruck? Oh my gosh. Is this yours? I did feel it actually. You did? <laughs> I'm just fixing it. It's like a golf cart Cybertruck. It's a modified flatbed that we use in the factory. Oh my we gosh. We a lot of spare parts that were broken, so I just had to cut them up and use them. Like just for fun? Exactly, yeah. Just like for fun. We had some extra parts. Why not? You know, can you build me one though? This is the stuff that you never get to see unless you work somewhere like this. I mean, this is all one piece, which is crazy to me that they're able to build something like this. And as we get closer to the stage, the Cybertrucks are becoming more and more put together. Look at, we have more of the panels on here. It looks like it's almost ready to go, except for the doors. And up ahead, I see a purple light, which makes me think that is probably the stage. Battery packs everywhere. These are the 4680 cells, and they're just like in big packs right here. Oh. Sorry, I just got yelled at. I have to stay on the path. A little too much excitement. Those are those are the ones being delivered today are all lined up right here as we walk into the final stage. So everybody is crowding into this little area. We just met up with some of our friends over here. We're all working on our own videos. incident four years ago. It didn't quite go as planned. Uh, maybe we should try it again. Yeah! And if you're ever in an argument with another car, you will win. <laughs> and even though the demonstrations were mind-blowing, you could hear the crowd audibly asking for the two most important details, price and range. As soon as pricing wasn't mentioned in the event, I had that little voice go out and off in my head that went, uh-oh. Within a few minutes, word got out that pricing and range were now available online. I think I'm going to be priced out. By now you guys know the dual motor comes in just under 80 grand, 
qualifying for the U.S. tax credit and with a range of 340 miles, while the Tri-Motor Cyber Beast, and yes, that's the actual badging, comes in at 100 grand with supercar performance and an estimated range of 320 miles. The single motor 250 mile range Cybertruck will come in in 2025 for 61,000. I don't think even the most pessimistic predictions I'm shocked that were, they're even were on target single here. Motor, though. I'm shocked about that. This is Eventually. costing so much more than they clearly had intended in yeah. 2019 that they probably feel like, all right, well, we've got to get yeah. a single motor out there. Okay, you guys know Zach. What were your thoughts on this? Overall, do you think that the specs match what you're hoping for? Okay, it was like a roller coaster. I came in here like expecting to order this truck and it was gonna be like a work truck for my not a wheelchair business. And then it's like, it was peaking. It was so cool seeing it race, seeing it do like the, have the power in the bed and stuff like that, towing everything. And then we get the specs and the price and it's the exact same specs as my Rivian for more money. And it's like, I'm not gonna pay more money for a statement truck. I want something that can do stuff and be a work truck and be durable. It's durable. I don't want to pay an extra 20 or 30 grand for that. So yeah. I'm incredibly disappointed. I haven't quite like solidified all my thoughts on yeah. it yet. But if We're I have all processing right now. Disappointed. One word, disappointed. Turns out, looking at the R1T and the Cybertruck side by side, you can see that Tesla definitely eyed Rivian's numbers carefully, just marginally beating many performance metrics, though the price leans in favor of Rivian. But you could argue that these two trucks have almost nothing in common besides their means of propulsion. I ignored everything Tesla said four years ago, and so I came into this with a fresh, open yeah. mind, which is like, you know, my, my prediction was 79,990 for the dual motor. That's exactly what it was. So I was with that I thought the tri motor was going to be deep into the hundred thousand dollar range and uh, the fact that it's only a hundred I think is pretty good considering model s plaid was 130 140 not long ago and here there's a lot more vehicles certainly less power but um, you know induction mode like a whole redesign so yeah I, I'm actually kind of okay with the numbers yeah. so far. All this came as Tesla dropped another option on its website. There is a, a listing for range extender. Both the dual and the tri-motor Cybertrucks have a 123 kilowatt hour battery pack. The range extender adds an additional 50 kilowatt hours, increasing range by around 120 miles for each variant. And according to Tesla's own source codes on its website, it may cost as much as $16,000, taking a chunk of your wallet and a third of your bed space for the added range. They are battery supply limited, especially on the 4680s yeah. right now. We know that. For the customers that are totally cool with 340 miles of range on the dual motor, they can pay a little less and it saves Tesla from having to put extra batteries in trucks that for people that Maybe. might not really ever utilize that. So a way for Tesla to save battery supply by forcing the customers that really want that extended range yeah to opt into it. To me, it was immediately clear that both range and price were a massive sticking point for a lot of people. On one hand, you're getting a better truck than was initially promised with features like four-wheel steering, bi-directional charging, motorized front and better performance. And on the other hand, the range falls short for the price and the price dramatically increases above inflation and other factors. So the question is, how many of the near 2 million pre-orders will convert to actual sales? I think it's fair to say these prices are going to scare off a lot of reservation holders. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Like a lot of people reserve this truck hoping to get a $40,000 stainless steel pickup truck. Yeah. That is not happening. Do you think that would be like they dug a grave as Elon put it? Literally like dug well, a No, they're still going to sell every single Cybertruck they can make for the foreseeable future. The costs both to Tesla and the, the end user price almost certainly will come down over the next two, three yeah. years as they move through the backlog, as we've seen with the Model Y yeah. over the last three years now and the Model 3 over the last six, seven yeah. years. I'm not saying that their costs aren't high on these initial trucks, but they're, they're going to take advantage while the production capability is limited of the people willing to pay right. these prices. Do you think that you will keep your order? When he originally promised Tri-Motor being 500 plus, yeah. not just 500, 500 plus, I'm just a little disappointed in the range, that's all. I have a pre-order, I'll keep it on there, but I'm not, I don't see myself buying it. What we don't know, of course, is when they quote range, what drive cycle are they doing that in yeah. yet? So we're not sure, because there's multiple EPA cycles they can choose from. 
Okay, uh, this we, is interesting. This is stuff I hadn't thought about yet. Yeah, and I mean, we'll do the range test and yeah. the charging test and the towing, and you know, we'll line it up against R1T and Silverado and Lightning and, and do everything. And ultimately, if it can um, be a better road tripper while towing, that's all I care about for my use case. Check this out. We have foundation series just sort of like etched right in there. Actually, it's printed on there. You can't feel it. There's no, other than my fingerprints, it doesn't stick out at all. So that's pretty cool. If you are a real estate agent, if you're somebody that wants to show off your business and you want to put your name on something, this is incredible. It's going to look so good driving around town. People are going to turn heads. It's, it's weird looking, but it's good looking. But... The range versus what was promised, 500 miles range, and now it's like 340. That was really disappointing, because I'm yeah. a road warrior. I go on road trips all the time. Right. I slept in my car last night before flying out of Las Vegas to get here in my Tesla yeah. Model S. But didn't they throw a baseball at it over here? <laughs> yeah, it was a baseball. This is a, a freaking baseball. downgrade from what we were promised four years ago. I know. Ago. I We've know. been hyping this up, we climax, and we are now down in the center of the earth as a letdown of a truck. I feel bad saying that, I've been hyped. Don't hype it up for four years and drop this garbage. I'm so pissed right now. I want to throw a baseball at your truck. At your I Rivian. Know. It would be just A baseball fine. against a Rivian is going to be fine. Like, come on. Unless you hit it with the baseball bat, a baseball's not going to break a window. I mean, you have to at least, like, get one, tear it apart, break the glass. Maybe. You know? Maybe. I don't Make know. Make a, a phone case that somebody will steal from you. Exactly. And, uh, I have a reservation, but okay. and I was, like, dead set on it, but now I don't know. I don't know, because like I could buy a Lightning, get the same specs for cheaper, and I can get it now. Yeah. So. So the, it's not the design isn't enough to make you want to just. Do I was never for the design. Like it was, it's a, it's interesting, but it's a statement, and I don't want to make a statement. Okay. You know. There's enough people that want to buy the truck. We're not put off by the range at all. It holds ten power walls worth of power. And that would cost you eighty grand to buy all the power walls. So you're keeping your order. Oh, yeah. Delivery. Not right. today, unfortunately. Okay. All right. They just told us we have to leave. Really cool to get to talk to other creators, other shareholders, other Tesla enthusiasts, and get their opinions. Everything is still forming, as Ryan put it. We're in the middle of the hurricane right now, so what I think right now might be different than what I think you know, a few days from now when I have time to fully digest everything. Walking through the factory, it did make me wonder though, is this another stroke of genius by Tesla? Could enough people embrace and personalize this polarizing design to make this Tesla's iPhone moment, making everything else seem boring? Or will it fall short and become a footnote in Tesla's history? Would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below on this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss the shuttle at this point because there's just too much cool stuff here. Here is the matte black wrap. And this is the tent. I was wondering where the accessories were going to be. They're all outside. This is the tent custom made for the truck. I'm curious though where the ladder is. It's nice though to be able to have the storage right there. Now we have camps. We have the 1450, we have 2110 volts right here. It's nice to be able to access those even when you're camping inside of your truck, doing some truck camping. Of course, this is super cool. It's all cyber truck themed. It's air. It's inflatable, which means it's super lightweight and easy to pack up. It doesn't take much space when you're trying to pack up and go. Hey! Hey! Hi. How are you? How are you? What I'm do you good. think? It is beastly. Yeah. Beastly, yeah. Um, so I was looking at all-wheel drive. Yeah. That's what I pre-ordered. I'm happy with the range, 340. That's what they promised, okay. 300 plus. I think tri-motor fans, mm -hmm. looking for 500. A little yeah. short on that one. Uh, price, so I think specs-wise, price, everything is in line with the market. Yeah. So I think if you compare that with what everyone else has in this category, they've done very well. My personal is like, I don't want to spend seventy, eighty thousand dollars for an all-wheel drive truck. I get it. I, that's just my personal yeah. prerogative. Let's take a minute to appreciate these doors because it has all those triangular cyber truck shapes inside of it. This is how you, you know, open up the door right here. Windows. Even the cup holders are cyber truck shapes. Um, I really like this. It's super clean. We have the nice ambient LED lighting here, but again, it's minimalistic at the same time. Purple LED lighting. Now look at this. The seats are up in the back, so you can see the extra storage. So the seats pop up. 
you can put a bag or something underneath them. You have all this extra storage back here. I feel like the kids are going to be asking to upgrade their mini Tesla now. I'm sure this is one of those radio flyer ones, but look at this. Do these pop off? I'm pretty sure that the, look at that, they pop off. Check this out, the window's down. Does this shape look familiar? We have the welded Cybertruck graffiti right down here on the floorboards. Your seat controls are even Cybertruck themed. I mean, it's on point. So I believe that this one is the one that was taken to Mexico, the Baja edition. Look inside, the seats are actually different. This is like the full harness. This one I'm assuming is full beast mode. This just shows how the body panels are actually designed to absorb the impact of a crash. So just the front trunk right here, we talked about this a lot, that the front trunk will actually take that impact. There are so many Cybertrucks here on property. They are everywhere. Obviously there's the ones right up here, but all parked along this side, on the other side of the building, Cybertruck, Cybertruck, Cybertruck. Everywhere you go. Circle, square, Cybertruck. <laughs> so I am back home from the event. I've been going straight for almost 48 hours. I have now had time to really process all the information that has come in about the Cybertruck, watch a few videos, kind of analyze things a little bit more than I did at the event. And I just kind of wanted to give you my honest thoughts where we're at right now with our reservation. So it's definitely more money than I planned on ever spending. If we do decide to take our, our Cybertruck and purchase it, I'm hoping that we will be one of the first to get it and then it will make sense for our channel. Um, I will possibly put it on Turo and that's how I would make it work. It almost puts me in this funny little place where I'm like this child again and I have a toy that I really, really, really want and I'm begging my parents for it. The only problem is right now I'm the parent and I have to pay for it myself. So I'm trying to justify how I'm going to make that happen. And before Tesla, I never felt this way about cars. I always felt like a car just got you from point A to point B. And now I have been driving Tesla for eight years, nine years actually, and I've fallen in love with them. And the Cybertruck is completely different. I love where they're going with it. I feel like it is definitely the future of cars. I've gone to a lot of car shows and I feel like every prototype is trying to almost copy the Cybertruck. We're seeing all these angular images, um, on all these different, you know, fancy prototype cars, who knows if they'll ever get made, but it's because of the Cybertruck that we're seeing that happen. So why would I not want to own the Cybertruck? I'm curious what you guys think, how you feel about it. I know there's definitely some disappointment out there and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're gonna be sharing all the interviews that we had completely on our Patreon. Um, go follow us on Patreon. So thanks for coming along. I'm going to go to bed. I'm really tired. Good night.